My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. The muscle car that started it all, the 1964 GTO. This is the car that's given credit as the start of the muscle car phase. John DeLorean was responsible for putting a big engine in what they considered their mid-size car. Uh, the way I understand it, he snuck it past uh, the big brass by not creating a, an entirely new model, but it's a Le Mans with the GTO option is how he got around uh, getting that done. So anyway, we got a beautiful example of one here. Four speed, tri power, numbers match, documented car. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can find all the specs, photos top to bottom. You're going to want to look at the undercarriage on this car. It's beautiful. And all the pricing on this car and a few hundred collector cars we have on there. They're all for sale. That's volocars.com. But right now, why don't you join me? We'll go for a spin in the first muscle car. Beautiful colors, too. I think it's Yorktown or Yorkshire, but I think it's Yorktown blue. This car was born that color. I think it's gorgeous. The red line tires are the reproduction BF Goodrich Silvertown with the original hubcaps and spinners. It has a nice stance. So a beautiful car. Very glossy. It's a clear coat finish. It's shiny. It's beautiful. You will find uh, a minor flaw here or there. There's some really fine, fine, uh, there's a seam right here from the factory, and it's, I don't even want to call it pimpled, it's just a little fuzzy right there, um, but shiny, glossy. The bumpers have been replated, but a lot of this trim is the original, and I would say it's all in good shape. Like, all this trim is straight, fits real nice, uh, it's got some scuffs, but overall really nice trim. Rear window's crystal clear. The rear deck uh, is excellent. All the rubber seals, even around the vent window, has been replaced. Uh, the mirrors and door handles are new. It's clean, smooth, clean metal along the bottoms. The grills in the hood are, are real nice. The windshield must be new. That's crystal clear. And again, all the moldings are straight, shiny. I'm not going to say they're new, but they're all really good looking on the car. Bumpers re-chromed. The original antenna. Motor compartments detailed up real nicely. It is the correct numbers engine. They didn't have VIN number matching, but they have codes and they have a date code. The date code lines up to the build date of the car perfectly. I just checked it myself. Uh, the car was built in May. Um, correct valve covers, has the correct uh, tri-power setup, features power steering, has a passenger side mirror. Door jams are painted real nicely. The white upholstery has all been replaced. That would be armrests, door panels, seats, headliner, visors. And then it's got the nice blue trim. The new blue carpet has a, there's an option. They have the dash pad. That's all new. Trunk compartment's really tidy. You know, it just looks great. You open it up. It's all painted beautifully. It's got the new stickers, the new weather strip, the new trunk mat. It has the jack and spare. Uh, it's got a tire cover. And everything's just painted nice, good looking trunk compartment. It's beautiful in there. I just noticed it has a uh, tilt column. This is the four spoke deluxe wheel. It's on a tilt column. Again, it has padded dash, has a clock, has a factory four speed console in there. And uh, overall, just very, very nice shape inside. The chrome on the seats is real nice. In here, it looks like several of the power steering components are new. The rag joint, uh, the hoses, the master cylinder, the brake line, the wiring harness looks new. Uh, and it's detailed up nice. It has the hood insulation, the right spring clamp battery cables, the Delco battery topper, uh, GM hose, the right clutch fan, alternator looks new. Even has some of the assembly line markings on the firewall. 
So this is a car that you go to car shows, you can open the hood, the trunk, you can even slap some mirrors on the ground to show the underside. I walked through the shop when this was up in the air and I wasn't expecting it to be that nice underneath. It's a real solid car. Uh, we got it from Virginia. Everything's painted up real nice. The front end's all rebuilt. Uh, it's got the Muncie 4 speed. Uh, it's got uh, F41 suspension, which is box control arms and sway bars. Uh, somebody would have added that. I don't think that came out till later. Um, a nice Flowmaster fat exhaust system with Flowmasters. And you can't really see, but there are the splitter tips tucked up underneath there. But really clean metal. Even up behind the tire, the lower rear quarters, the rockers, all clean metal underneath. So this, this is what I would call a show car. Not a concourse, you know, trailer queen show car, but definitely a car you can go to any car show and you'll get compliments, you'll win some trophies, you'll get, it's just a beautiful car. So I guess uh, we'll start it up. Inside the uh, overhead light works, the light in the back of the console works. Uh, glove box liners new, the light works in there. It's a cold start. It's been sitting in here overnight. Wow. That fired right up. It hasn't been run since yesterday. This is the PHS, the Pontiac Historical Service paperwork. It tells you exactly how the car was born. It is a genuine GTO four speed, the original motor. A uh, correct tri-power was added uh, to it. Oh, I shouldn't have kicked down the idle yet. So the choke is working properly. idle down a little too soon. The choke's doing its job. It's a high idle till it warms up and it runs just fine. So there you have it. Gorgeous, genuine muscle car. The one that started it all. Great colors, documented, numbers matching. It's a four speed. Uh, go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact our staff on our website. They'll help answer any questions you have for them about the car, about shipping, about financing. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to just keep putting out these awesome cars, and that's the best way to see them first. So I do appreciate everyone who's been watching the videos, and stay tuned because we'll just keep putting more out. Thank you.